वेलकम बैक टू सीक्वल सर्वर डेटाबेस ट्रेनिंग सेशन इन आवर प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस अबाउट सेलेक्ट स्टेटमेंट ओके सो हाउ टू यूज सेलेक्ट स्टेटमेंट व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट क्लासेस अलोंग विद सेलेक्ट स्टेटमेंट वी कैन यूज सेलेक्ट स्टेटमेंट फॉलोड बाय वेयर क्लॉज देन we have group by having then after that order by we use okay but to use select statement we require very good database so in that you should have lot of data then in such cases you can use the select statement in different ways along with different where clauses okay similarly grouping group by you can do then order by you can do so all these to do all these lot of data is required so therefore what we do today we open an existing database in which we have some sample data created by microsoft so that is adventure works database we have we try to use adventure works database for the purpose of uh, i mean learning this uh, select query select query we use along with all the clauses like where clause we use then group by we use having we use then other thing is order by also we use in that so along with that we use actually different operators relational operators then logical operators okay like operator we use and in in between operator we use all these we can use along with the uh, say select statement even in operator we use okay now let me first of all open the adventure works database so adventure works database i am opening here so what are the tables available in this first of all let me show you these are all different tables available human resources department employee department job candidate department shift department address department like this we have number of tables related to the adventure works database one is hr department person uh, sorry hr hr uh, schema we have person schema is there then similarly production is there sales also there we have all this information let us look at the customer table of the sales expand this expand the columns when you expand columns do we have any primary key foreign key relationship see in this we don't have anything like that we just have here so this is currency i just want to look into customer expand this the columns what i see in this are we have a customer id person id store id territory id account number row gu id its unique identifier then modify date this data is available it is actually linked with the person table person id and stores uh, with that it is linked territory id is also linked there okay so this is for the customers let me see how many rows are available with the customer for which first of all we need to open the database to open database you can use i mean you can actually first of all click on the this query analyzer window open the query analyzer window once we open here query analyzer window we get here an option by choosing this you can select a database or else you can type here either you can use use followed by the database name or here from the drop down you can choose choose like this we have chosen this way now which database is open for us adventure works 2008 or 2 database is available now let me retrieve data from the customer table what data is available in the customer table let me show you here select star from so customer this is customer data i need where exactly customer table is available under sales it is so sales dot customer let us open the customer table in that manner just now execute this it is showing so many rows there are so many rows in this around 
820 rows are available. So, it is plenty of data available for us. Lots of data is available for us. Okay. So, here the minimum date as well as maximum date also we try to get. From this I want to get maximum date as well as minimum date. Max date I want to get, min date also I would like to get from this. So, let me select like this. Select here max modified date. From what is the table exactly? This is sales, sales schema. Under sales schema, we have customer table that we should select. Select max modified data from sales dot customer. Okay. So why this is giving error? Let us see. Select now check for the syntax. Execute it. It's showing this much. This is what exactly. I mean 13 10 2008 is the maximum date. Max function like this you can use. Similarly, I want to get min. So minimum also in which year the minimum we get, let us see. Minimum is year 13 10, once again 2008, even maximum also we get it as 13 10 2008. For the single day only, all the transactions it seems. Once again select. Select it once again. So all the dates it seems like for the same day, this is all same date data, but we have around 19,820 rows in this. This is for the customer. Fine. Now I want to I want to group based on the store ID. Based on the store ID, I want to use, I want to group here. Okay, I can go with the grouping option. So, when you go for grouping option, pair class I may not use here, but I can use actually some grouping option. With the help of grouping option, I can group. Group may contain, group is nothing but few rows are taken. Based on given criteria, it's going to group. For example, you have here territory ID. Okay. You have territory ID. So, based on the territory ID, I can group it. I can find total, say, I mean, I can find out here actually total sales based on the, based on actually, uh, based on the territory ID, I can collect actually information. In the given territory ID, how many customers you have? You can find out. So, let me do that now. Here, right, select count of what we do exactly customer id count is nothing but actually it is a function using that how many rows are there you can count select count customer id from we specify here sales start customer so we put sales start customer here similarly we require one more column that is going to be Territory ID. We use territory ID. Then here from sales dot customer. Here I want to group it. Group by. I use here group by territory ID. I can use it. Based on the territory ID, we need to group this. Select count of customer ID, comma territory ID from sales dot customer group by territory id based on the territory id i would like to group it now execute this it is showing under one territory id it is going to be 3520 similarly under territory id 2 it is 113 under territory id 3 it is 132 so by default it's getting arranged in the which order i mean uh, in the ascending order based on the territory id now i want to now i want to actually i mean uh, i would like to show this in the descending order territory id descending order i would like to show that 
so group by territory id we have used order by now you can use order by order by i use here once again territory id here write desc in the descending order i want to use it now what i do exactly i am trying to group it based on the territory id similarly i am ordering based on the territory id now just execute it's going to show 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 like this this is showing for us based on this we are actually ordering it order by territory id based on this you can order so you can sort elements here based on the given column so the column must be part of actually the column must be part of the select query in the select query we have used here two different columns one is what count of customer id then territory id i am trying to count i mean here calculate or i am trying to count all the customers who fall under territory id in the given territory id so i am grouping based on the territory id therefore here we can get using group by using group by based on the territory id i am counting here the customers so under territory id 10 One nine nine one under territory there nine it is three six five three six six five so like this it is actually showing the data for us column name also you can define here you can put a column name right now there is no column name is giving put this as customer count you can put like this it is nothing but customer count column name is you can calculate that way it is nothing but customer count of execute. column name you are going to get as customer count this is going to be a derived column i can say this as a derived column okay with select statement you are creating a new column its customer count which is going to contain number of customers this will not be saved permanently in the database only with the select query we do it so here therefore i used group by then followed by order by okay group by i use and followed by order by also we use there Now suppose I want to select only. See, I want to group data based on the territory ID. But here, I would like to go with the say some territory ID, ten, then nine, then six, then four. For that, I would like to show the data. Not for all the things. Only for few, I need to do it. So therefore, I slightly change the query. I am going to change query in a different manner now. this time i am going to use actually having having i can use now in this here what i do i am creating here and i'm select i'm counting all customer ids who fall under actually one particular territory id based on the territory id i am grouping here okay then followed by i am trying to sort based on the territory id from descending order in the descending order it showing you can go in the descending order or you can show in the ascending order by default it's taking ascending order order by territory id i gave there now let me write the query in a different way so here it is selecting all the territories okay it is selecting all the territories but i don't want to use like that so here i would like to write select count customer id customer count territory id from sales dot customer group by here territory id then here write having you need to put having class before order by having here what we choose having territory id okay territory id like i want to put here the elements 10 or it is 7 or it is 5 then i want to go with the 2 like this i try to choose here okay so having territory id i can choose here
so having territory id in 10752 any of these i mean from, from these territory ids only i would like to select it i want to i don't want to select all the territories but i want to choose only few territories so now just check for the syntax execute it it's showing then territory id 10752 you can use in operator similarly here having clause also you can use so this time what we use we select here select count customer id customer id comma territory id from sales dot customer group by territory id having territory id in 10752 order by territory id is the descending order so in this order we use so therefore here we use it i mean group by then having clause and order by we need to use having having clause like this we are using having clause like this here so in the other way also i try to do it now if you go with the previous command what data we get we get data like this now i want to go with the i mean i i want to select all those territories whose customer count is greater than 1500 wherever you have customer count greater than here 1500 i would like to select those so therefore 1991 3665 1852 1884 1791 4696 3520 i should select 1761321313 should be filtered out okay they should be getting filtered out therefore try to use here having i mean uh, having class using having class let us try to do it let me let, let us do with the here having class so wherever you have i mean in whatever territories the customer count greater than 1500 that we should choose that we are going to choose in this okay so let let us select the data therefore we write one more query for that take this and here again put it like this here with having class we do so this time territory id here we use territory id here we use actually territory id but instead of using territory id this time i write having okay having i use here this i want to use in such cases having count of customer id okay put it then greater than or equal to 1500 this way i put it okay so I mean those territory IDs whose customer count is greater than or equal to 1500 now are going to be selected. Select this and try to execute. We get only those 10, then 9, then 8, then 7, then 6, then 4 and 1. Certain things are getting skipped here. Five we are not getting, two we are not getting, three we are not getting. So they are actually filtered out because condition is something like this we have written. select count of customer id customer count comma territory id from sales dot customer group by territory id having count of customer id greater than or equal to 1500 order by territory id we have written like this so therefore here in the select statement we are using the where clause where clause we haven't used in this see here we are not using where clause we are just using only group by then similarly having we used it and order by also we have used it okay so i as we discussed in previous session it should be taking like this it should, it should take it, it can take where clause it can take group by it can take having and it can take even order by but whenever you are using all the things their order must be first of all you should have select statement followed by where clause then group by then having then after that order by suppose you don't have where in such cases you can use just group by then having and then order by suppose you don't want to use having in such cases you can use group by then you can have order by suppose you don't want to use order by just you can write there group by only so like this but whenever you try to use all of them they should be in that order okay you need to follow the rule otherwise the query cannot be running properly so not properly that does not work at all okay so this is what exactly selecting data using here the group by class then having class and one more thing is order by order by is going to be sorting here having class in association with group by we use in association with group by we need to use having class 
okay so group by is going to i mean whenever you want to perform aggregate operations you do it now one more thing here see i want to find out minimum then maximum of customers okay so here i want to find out uh, minimum maximum you cannot get actually what i do exactly is now in such cases okay so here once again let me look at the customer table what i can do is think it's having like this customer id then followed by person id then store id territory id like this we get we are getting actually different store ids territory ids like this you have an account number also okay so under one account number how many times is getting repeated let us see or they getting repeated or not we need to check here so is it all unique data or i mean on the same row also is it getting selected it doesn't seem like that 30118 do we have anywhere at the top we don't have all these are going to be unique it seems okay they are going to be looking like unique but here now how many rows total 19820 rows we have okay so here we try to find out now distinct account numbers how many are in this right select distinct with the help of distinct keyword you can actually select the distinct rows if you look at account number it is actually computed it is var care of 10 okay it is going to be var care of 10 so we choose this then here try to put like this sorry no, not this account number i should put here distinct account number we use like this followed by here we write from table name is what table name is here sales dot customer like this you try to use unique account numbers so here if the rows are getting selected is 19820 in such cases it means these are not getting repeated just try to execute how many we are getting 19820 rows it means these are not unique these are getting these are unique that means here they are not getting duplicated for us so using distinct keyword you can find out unique values sometimes what happen same values may be getting repeated so in such cases those values can be those values can be here you can suppress so if you use actually the unique when you use unique you can get that way okay so here account number is unique then similarly here when you go with a modified date it is same date but only the time it seems changing or even time is also going to be same it seems there is no change in the time also if you go through like this every time it is going to be 15 7 11 15 it's showing like that probably they have bulk inserted this data and they haven't entered any modified date i think they made some default value for that they might be using some default say uh, uh, what we say constraint for that let us look at the table structure here right so how how we do that we can execute exec followed by sp underscore help followed by here we give sales dot customer we give like this sales then dot customer this can give us this going to give us actually the structure of the table table structure you can get with this execute okay first of all parse it then execute so whenever you execute it's going to show you the structure any default do we have let us see in this so default you have here get date they are using that means when they insert a data they haven't supplied any date for that when the table is generated when when the table is populated that means the tape data is inserted to that table i think they haven't entered any date there without entering date they have done that okay so that is default value it's taking because of that you have same date and time you have same date and time because of that feature fine so if you look into this particular thing here 
the select statement we have used it we use count function is nothing but aggregate function it's nothing but aggregate function here then we are finding out customer count territory id sales customer like this now once again look at the i mean customer table here so execute it it's giving you the customer id then person id store id like this it's showing for us okay it is showing like this data for us now we need to select data we need to group by i mean group by in that case okay we need to order by data here based on the territory so based on the territory we need to show the stores we have to show stores based on the territory id in the ascending order we should show in the ascending order we have to show but as far as store id is concerned it should be in the descending order now let us try to write select what we write here store id comma next thing is here this is going to be territory id choose like this from sales dot customer we use this way sales dot customer then we need to order it based on what exactly based on the territory id we need to sort it then here whenever territory id there is a i mean uh, clash because one one is getting repeated so in such cases we need to use store id store id should be in the descending order here right customer order by order by what we write this is territory id okay then similarly we use store id we use here store id the next thing is here you write dsc like this we do it first we use territory id second thing is store id how the data is going to be getting retrieved see in this check then followed by execute it spelling is wrong territory id there is a mistake in this territory hmm. territory okay o is here unnecessarily added there okay execute this now here store id is 1992 1992 1970 this is the descending order but here store id is going to be the ascending order first of all one is shown after that it is showing here four then this is 6 7 8 this way it's being shown for us here so based on the territory id first of all getting sorted but whenever you have same store territory id it's showing like this here one more clause i want to put here store id must not be null it should not take null value therefore i put a where clause put here where clause then right here where store id is not null put like this where store id is not null order by territory id store id so at that time you will not get 19820 rows okay now once again see this and execute so now this time you got only 1336 rows rest of the rows for them we don't have any say store id all of they have null values you have territory id but no store ids but here now what is happening you get actually store ids in the descending order but we get overall 1336 rows otherwise there were 1900 and some uh, i mean 1900 some odd number of rows you had in the in the earlier example but when you filter like this it's going to show for us 1336 rows it is giving an actually 133 One, three, three, six rows. So this many rows we are getting here. This is exactly what it is a say select command. Here we use the store ID, territory ID, followed by sales dot customer where store ID is not null. Order by territory ID, comma store ID we use it this way. This is exactly a select command in which we use where class. Then similarly we use order by. I mean in the order by we use two different columns. 
whenever there is a tie in the first column because territory ID get, gets repeated number of times. In such cases, we use secondary key. The secondary key is going to be store ID. Okay, so based on the store ID, it's going to be getting selected. Store ID is going to be shown in the descending order, whereas territory ID is in the ascending order. Like this, we use here the select statement. So using select, we do in this manner here. So this is what exactly using here with the select statement, the order by class, the group by class. Similarly, here the where clause also be used in this. In earlier examples, we have used it, say group by, then we used actually in that the aggregate functions. See, last time when we were exploring functions, we find, now go to programmability in this, you can see you have here functions. In this system functions, you have predefined functions like aggregate functions. Here these aggregate functions you can use like sum you have there, minimum you have, maximum you have, then abg you have like this, these can be used. Maximum value you can get, minimum value you can get, you can sum it, you can count, we are using sometimes count here. So this way you can use aggregate functions. So, on groups only normally we perform the aggregate functions. Now, let me open some other tables in this. If you come to sales, here you have sales order header and sales order detail. There are two tables in this. One is sales order header, other one is sales order detail. Expand the sales order header. You have all this data in this. Order date, due date, ship date, status online order flag like this you have information related to sales order header and sales order detail is going to contain this data these two are actually connected with each other okay sales order id is going to be here foreign key as well as primary key but here a primary key is made based on two different columns one is sales order id sales order detail id see whenever you go to any shopping what happens normally, you may be buying more than one item. Okay, when you buy more than one item, for each and every item, separate bill is not given to you. Only together, for all the items, they give you the bill. Okay, they give you bill for all the items together. So, bill ID is going to be one, but under that you have number of items. So, each and every item can be called as order line. So, overall you are, I mean, uh, you are, whenever they give you actually the, I mean whenever they give you the receipt or the bill, it can have only one bill ID, but in that you can have number of order lines. Bill is only one, that can be called as order. But in that bill, you can be having number of items. Each and every item is different there, that is called as order line. So in the same manner, here it is created. One is what? Sales order detail and other one is sales order header. So, in the sales order header related to one sale, there is only one row available. But in the sales order detail, you can have number of rows. Like this, the table is structured here. Two tables are structured in that manner. And one is connected with another one. Here, see. Apart from the sales order uh, header, sales order detail, you have two more, uh, say, I mean, tables associated with this. One is product ID, then other thing is special offer ID. Whenever the sales products, you may they, may they may offer some special offers. So that may be applicable for some things that may not be applicable. So if it is applicable, it is going to be not null. Otherwise, it can be null. You take here. You, you see here. Special offer ID, foreign key, int not null. So whenever you have a null value for that, there is no special offer for that. Similarly, whenever you don't have this as null value, in such cases, it is going to be having certain I mean special offer. So that way we consider. Now here, let us look at the first of all order header. Let us look in the order head table. You have so many columns in this. Apart from sales order ID, in this you have a customer ID, sales person ID, territory ID, bill to address ID, ship to address ID, ship method ID, 
so all these are going to be different foreign uh, i mean columns foreign for primary key foreign key so this is called as your foreign key you are connecting with some other table all these are here marked as foreign key that means they are connected with some other table with other tables they are connected so with that you enforce the referential integrity for example you try to enter a customer id which is not existing in the customer table in such case the data cannot be i mean the, the row cannot be entered here similarly you are trying to use a sales person id whose id is not existing or that sales person is not available so in such cases it does not accept row similarly with the territory id bill to address id ship to address id like this you can actually relate one table with another with the help of this primary key foreign key relationship we can have their referential integrity something like I, as i was explaining earlier you have a department table you have employee when you create an employee when you create an employee what should happen there for you the employee should be belonging to existing departments suppose your company has only four departments hr then marketing then production production and one more thing is administration okay when you recruit an employee you need to put the employee in one of those departments or else you might not have i mean allocated any department for the employee but if you try to allocate an, a, a department which is not existing something like r and d it's meaningless data we don't have actually integrity of data there so that becomes actually wrong data which should not be allowed therefore with the help of primary key foreign key you can enforce such integrity so you can enforce the referential integrity with the help of the primary key and foreign key relationships same thing is happening here in the sales header sales order header in that we enter customer id sales person id territory id bill to address id ship to address id all these must be available with those data okay when data is not available you can just put them for null value but if you enter try to enter some value it must be existing data already that must be available within our database then that is going to be accepted otherwise it will not accept like this we enforce the referential integrity now let us look into the table called as here here we have two tables as i told just now one is sales order header other one is sales order detail let us try to see some data from the sales order header here right select star from the table is sales dot sales order header like this we use the table name select and execute select this data and try to execute this what happens with this it's going to show so many rows for us it's showing us 31465 rows that many orders so far generated in this okay whenever you take the date again this is also it seems like bulk insertion not bulk insertion we have different dates in this okay we are getting here different dates it's not bulk insertion okay it's not bulk insertion like this you have data in the sales order header you have so many columns something like you have order date due date ship date okay status online order flag sales order number then purchase order number account number customer id sales person id okay like this you have now you want to find out okay now you want to find out based on the date based on the date actually i mean based on the given date each and every sales person how many orders they created that means how many sales they made you need to find out here if you look at sales person id you have 279 279 like that now for every sales person here we should be generating what we should generate actually how many orders they generated we need to find out so therefore here try to do like this select what i write here count of sales order id sales order id i use then followed by here next thing is here i try to use customer id not customer id sales person id i want to use here i want to use sales person id okay sales person id the next thing is i want to use count of sales order id sales person id then similarly i would like to use here date of sale 
we have certain sale actually modify date we have here so this should be order date so other thing is here order date we use actually order date in this followed here then from table name we need to put sales dot right here sales order header it is exactly sales order header we put this way here now write group by what we write here group by order date so based on the see order date we should do it based on the order date we are trying to group it okay so based on the order date we are trying to find out the sales person count now here just try to execute this check for syntax like this execute it okay order by fine group by we use this comma we put like this they try to it is showing this way sales person id number of columns are two and the given date we are using here 2067 then 2008516 like this it is showing see is it getting repeated see the sales sales person id is it getting repeated let us see there 274 is it coming next time anywhere let us see so let us put here where class where we write here where i mean sales person id is not null like this we use it should not be null now here select it and execute so 274 is getting repeated number of times here you can see here it is getting repeated number of times on the 192005 there is only one sale and here this is next 192005 it is one then 111205 it is one like this it is showing us we are calculating actually sales based on the sales person id here on the given date and the and each and every day how many are created by sales person id you can see here next year i don't want to mix up like this year so here first of all for all for, for sales persons every i mean it's showing the first day second day like that but here i want to go with the order by class order by order date i put this way i want to take like this then select here so just execute now what is happening here it is taking 275 it is going to be 8 then 276 2 it is 277 4 like this based on the date it is showing for us on the given date on the same date for 275 276 277 like this it is showing okay then after 8 come to 8 on the 8 you have 274 so like this these are shown it's being shown in this manner here so in this manner these are actually being shown for us like this we can actually group the data here we are using where class we are using here in this group by at the same time we are using even order by also okay so here even we use the we, we are using like this and suppose you want to find out for few particular sales person ids something like 275 274 so it should be here in between say here it is in between 275 to it should be 270 272 280 in the range you need to get so therefore slightly modify this query you can modify this query and paste here hmm. 
a paste they try to modify slightly the code you want to get all the sales person side sales person ids in the range we are grouping it here right having okay having here what we write sales person id sales person id person spelling is wrong sales person id sales person id less than or equal to 280 we put like this okay less than or equal to 2 person i to 280 then just execute this with a having class showing like this it's showing only for the 270 270 to 280 it's showing up to 280 but not about 280 about 280 it's not showing so like this you can actually select data from the given table so table is what here it is sales order header table from sales order header table we are retrieving data we are trying to count how many sales orders are generated by the sales persons based on the id we are actually counting it if you look at 275 on 17 2005 on the date the sales person made about 8 different sales similarly on 17 2005 276 sales person id made two sales so like this here what we do we try to calculate number of sales they made number of sales they made like this we can do here so therefore in this what exactly we do we are using here we are using here where class then group by then having as well as order by also all the things together we have written in the select statement in the select statement we have used all the things so in this we have selected all the i mean uh, clauses like where clause we use it then group by we use it having also we use order by also we have used it like this you could select data from the given table using here select followed by various clauses so for which i am using here adventure works using adventure works i could do okay so using adventure works i could do this particular thing here this is what exactly using select statement along with the where clause then similarly group by and having as well as order by so these are the different clauses you can use along with the select statement even we have used their count we have used actually count now similarly i want to find out okay i want to find out actually at the given date and given date how many maximum sales are made by sales person on the given date i want to find out there how many maximum sales and how many minimum sales i mean how many maximum sales okay so that's going to be count with that only you are going to get it okay at the given date here what is the maximum sale and what is the minimum sale i want to find out okay i want to find out the minimum sale and maximum sale i would like to get here okay so i want to get actually maximum sale and minimum sale on the given date i want to find out how many maximum sales are made how many minimum sales are made based on the sales person sales person id we cannot show here but i just want to put there so maximum sales and minimum sales how much on the given date i want to find out so therefore right here select okay select here count of so maximum of i write here max of sales person id 